What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here with the Audi. Sometimes you just gotta quiet the noise. That's because sometimes the cars make noise and it is really cold out, it is winter and I've got the Audi out and it's making a noise. And I wanna show it to you first because I think I've got a diagnose and I th actually even think I know what the repair has gotta be. So let's uh, fire this sucker up. And actually what I thought it was, was lifter noise. I also noticed that the car was having a little trouble firing up. I actually had to kind of crank it over. And the, another telltale sign here is that it's idling a little high. It should probably be a little closer to seven or 800 RPM, not 11 or 1200. Okay, so right now it's not feeling like it's running rough, but that was also something I noticed. And from what I can tell, it's something that happens when it's really cold out. And that is because if we pop the hood here, Here's the engine, and the problem is right back here. Let's take a look. Okay, so I've got the motor running here, and because I already kind of warmed up the car, it's not as pronounced as it was when I first fired it up. But the issue back here is you can see this vacuum pump, and what might be really tough to see, I'll try to demonstrate it here, is this hose, uh, this little elbow hose here, is tapping on the vacuum pump. There is a nipple, a plastic nipple that's inserted in here and it has an O-ring to take up the slack and kind of make it a tight. And then this hose, um, this elbow hose is basically a permanent piece of this vacuum pump back here. Now, the true fix to this is you actually get a new vacuum pump and what a pain in the ass that is to replace because of where it's positioned. So, to quiet this down and actually fix it, unless you really want to replace that vacuum pump, is to put a little JB Weld down here at the base of this to hold that in place so that it doesn't it doesn't bounce around. And the reason that it does it when it's cold is that O-ring with its age is kind of shrunk and when it gets cold it creates a little bit of movement. Now when the car warms up and that O-ring warms up, it usually goes away, which is why I haven't caught it until we've had some really cold weather here. But I'm gonna put a little JP well down here, you know, kind of push everything down in place and then that should fix it. Leave it overnight to dry and Hopefully it goes away. And if you're uncomfortable with JV welding something, really the real fix is to replace the vacuum pump. And regardless, uh, you can do that anyway. The JV weld is not gonna prevent that. So let's do it. So I'm just back from AutoZone and what I picked up was JB Weld. This is what's actually recommended on the Audi forum by one of the members, not by Audi officially, obviously. You can JB Weld this just because this whole thing is one unit essentially. And if you were to replace it, you'd even get this little elbow you know, hose right there anyway. So, uh, I believe, but even if you don't, you probably want to replace it anyway once you're in there. So this JB Weld is what I picked up. They actually have two. One I was more familiar with in that it takes like four or five hours to set and then a 24 hours to cure. Now this one is called the quick setting, six minutes to set and then cure time in four to six hours. Now I don't have any plans to drive this over the next day. So I could have used the slower curing one, but I thought if you have a quicker one, why not use it? I think most important is kind of the strength number right there, which is 24, 24 PSI. I think that's gonna be more than plenty for this any, this application anyway. Now, there is a uh, the epoxy in two parts here. One is kind of the hardener. You also want to have something to apply it with. And in this case, I'm gonna use Q-tips. And you also want something to put and mix these together. Now I'm gonna use this old license plate here. And you just wanna take open up each of these, and you're gonna pop the end with the other end of the cap here, and you wanna mix basically two beads, I'm probably not gonna need a whole lot of this stuff, of equal sizes, equal portions. Bead right here, I'm gonna be pretty generous. And really, you don't have to get it all the way around the hose, you really just need to kinda of get it on the front and as much on the sides as possible, just kinda of hold it down. I'm going to kinda of try to mix them together here. And I'm also gonna push down on this so that it's flush. You can see how it's moving there. And I wanna put weight on it so that it's flush and down as much as possible. So I'm gonna somehow brace this down there. Now as I'm applying this, I should also tell you that I used a little engine degreaser and cleaning fluid to clean up this area. There definitely was some stuff on it and you don't want grease or oils to, you know, potentially 
screw up the gluing job here though. You can see there, now what I've done, kind of smeared it around. Now I've used the hammer to kind of hold that hose down against the vacuum pump there, keep it flush. And I'm just gonna leave that there as this cures. And as you can see, hopefully it's in focus there. You know, I just kind of smeared some JB Weld around it. It's really holding that plastic flange against the vacuum housing, kind of holding that in place to create a good seal there. So uh, again, only four to six hours to cure on this bad boy, which is pretty impressive, but I'll leave it sit overnight. And then hopefully we will never get that knocking again. I only heard it when it was cold and it has been cold lately. So, you know, I think if you hear something and it really sounds like knocking valve noise, doesn't mean I don't, you don't have that too, but in this case, that's what it was moving around quite a bit. So there's your fix. $5 of JB Weld and a few minutes of your time. Check it out for Audi A4 B7 models at least. I'll put a link to JB Weld in the description if you want to pick some up. Peter Rump and out.